First here at 10 o'clock, police and more arrest a local business owner who is also a sex offender. Officers tell us he was living too close to two public schools. Our Bonnie Campo is live from police headquarters tonight with this one. Bonnie? Investigators say that the suspect was living inside an RV that was parked at a home near the schools. Detectives were notified that we had a uh, subject that was a registered sex offender that was possibly living with someone that's uh, within 2,000 foot of two schools, Moore High School and Vista Academy. That man has been identified as 38-year-old Fashid Thadier. Newly filed court documents accuse him of parking an RV near Southeast 2nd Street from September to December of 2018. Detectives say through an unrelated investigation, a seven-year-old female disclosed she'd been inside the defendant's RV. Witnesses tell police that the suspect stayed in the RV three or four nights a week. They were able to determine that he, he had uh, been living at this residence and uh, it appeared he'd kind of put a different name on Facebook. Not sure if he was doing that to kind of hide the fact of who he was. But officers know he's connected to several vape shops in the metro. One of them was just over a mile from where the RV was parked. Fadier said he stayed in the RV no more than two nights a week because he knew it would be a violation of his sex offender restrictions. I believe he's the CEO or the owner of several different vape bars and vape shops. Um, uh, in Moore and, and in the Oklahoma City area as well. In 1998, he was convicted of rape in the first degree. Then in 2000, he was found guilty of possessing child pornography, both in Oklahoma County. There's also a jury trial scheduled for this June involving sex offender violations. Police add that that suspect turned himself in from Moore PD, Bonnie Campo, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.